Hi everyone, this is Alex. Welcome to my coloring channel. Today I'm going to show you how to color uh, fauceted gems. We are going to color this oval gem red. Uh, this uh, Marquis cut uh, gem will be yellow. And uh, what about this cushion shaped uh, gemstone? It will be uh, like a diamond, I mean um, a transparent stone with some uh, colored highlights on it. Okay, let us start with the red one. Uh, so for the red stone, we will need uh, four Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. Uh, here I have um, Caput Mortum Violet, then uh, Pale Uranium Lake, uh, Light Flesh and White. And also we will need a uh, white Posca pen, or you can uh, substitute it with gel pen or even gouache. Okay, uh, what we do first is uh, we create a very, very slight underlay on, on the stone. I take my middle tone, which is Pale Geranium Lake. Uh, what else? Uh, I want to add some more forces here, because uh, um, the stone is transparent. And I will do it with the same pencil and with a very, very light pressure. I just try to imagine how this stone could uh, look from the other side. And I add some light lines. Okay. Uh, then I will start coloring these little triangles with the darkest uh, pencil. Uh, I'm not going to cover all this triangle with the same pressure, but um, I'm going to make some degrade effect. Um, What's uh, also important is a uh, light source. Uh, here I decided to uh, place my light source like here, uh, like the sun is here. And that's why this part of my stone will be darker and this lighter. And what about the middle? It will be vice versa because uh, I want to show how the light plays inside the gemstone. Okay, let us start. Uh, speaking about the gradient, um, the direction of it is, uh, I must say, random. Um, I don't always start with top left side. For example, we can make it like this from bottom to top. And I don't cover all um, these pieces here with dark pencil because uh, some of the forces will be lighter just to create the, um, I don't know, the play of the light uh, and to make uh, the gem more vivid. some dark triangles um, in this part because uh, as I already said I want to this gem to um, look more real uh, that's enough for the dark color and what I'm doing next is uh, covering the same uh, parts uh, that I already colored with uh, our middle tone, pale uh, geranium lake, like um, blending. So I apply rather um, high pressure. Uh, 
I have changed the position of the camera a little for you to see better what I'm doing. And I'm proceeding with the same middle tone pencil. I'm also uh, coloring some faucets with a gradient. Right. Uh, next, I'm blending it, blending it with uh, the white pencil. Uh, the idea is that um, all the faucets must be very smooth, and you shouldn't see the um, tooth, uh, the grain of the paper, because it's a gemstone, and all the, all its faucets are very glossy. Right. And now I take uh, the lightest pencil, light flesh, and um, I'm going to color almost uh, all the rest uh, triangles, but uh, I will leave some of them uh, uncolored because um, there will be a highlight on them. Mm, we are going to make them almost white. very light I'm using uh, the middle tone again uh, and uh, just a little on the border mm, just to make the color more intense okay and now we blend with white again And the next step is applying uh, white Posca over uh, black outlines to make them lighter and, and to create the effect of uh, reflecting the light. Actually, you can cover all the lines with white, but I prefer to leave um, uh, the lines in the shadow uh, black, just uh, as they are, because it makes the gemstone more edgy. Um, what else I'm going to do is to add some, um, I don't know how to say, uh, white stripes uh, here in the center, just to create the effect of um, I don't know, uh, light on glossy um, surface. I'm just drawing them randomly. All right. Uh, the main thing is um, to let 
um, our outlines uh, dry. Um, you should wait at least one or even two minutes. And um, whilst um, my inks are drying, I'm coloring some triangles white. Okay. And then I take my darkest pencil and very accurately apply it over white Posca where the shadow is. So I darken it. Um, as I have already said, the main point is um, to let Posca dry, or be, you will just uh, scratch it with your pencil and lose all the effect. All right. And then I take the lightest pencil and apply a light coverage over forces that I decided to leave white because uh, absolutely white uh, faucets will not look naturally all right here it is our red stone and our next gemstone will be this one uh, this card is called Marquise, and <laughs> I even wrote it here just to remember. Um, the idea is absolutely the same, and we are again uh, we are having three tones of um, orange yellow colors. Uh, these are burnt sienna, dark uh, cadmium yellow, and cream, and a white pencil as well. At first, we are doing everything absolutely the same, but the faucets we are drawing here will be just um, different because it's another shape of a stone. I decided to draw them like this, like, a, I don't know, a star or a snowflake. As you can see, I already have an example here and I'm just uh, copying it, but um, feel free to uh, change something because um, gems are not uh, absolutely the same, even uh, in the same lighting, but <laughs> I think I'm too lazy to change anything, that's why I'm just copying it.
so here is our yellow gemstone and our last one will be this diamond in the center I have practiced a little yesterday and I hope it will look like uh, this okay the pencils we need are um, black Yes, we are using black for the lightest, lightest stone. Then a uh, cold gray four. Uh, Cobalt green that we have already used for the background. Then a uh, pink matter lake. And for sure, the white pencil. We are not going to put any underlay on this, but I will also draw some more faucets in the center. And again I start with the darkest color, which is black, but I'm not going to add a lot of black faucets, just a little of them. And I'm not applying a full pressure even in the beginning, um, this shouldn't be that black, you know, just, just very dark. that's enough um, for the outer part and now the inner part yeah like this well maybe one more here all right now I blend it with white all right uh, now we take our green. I'm going to cover about a half of uh, what's the rest. And I start on the darkest part again. to do next is yeah plant it a little right and now we are starting working working with colors I'm gonna add just a little of colors right here on the edges of um, those parts that are colored with gray first. Don't forget about the inner part. some pink just the same idea you can even add uh, two colors together okay and also um, I will add some colored stripes on the white, white um, parts. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And I'm blending it with white again. Right, and the next step is applying white Posca, but I'm applying it over all lines here. Not leaving any black lines. Again, I'm color coloring some of the faucets with white Posca fully. Yeah, and adding um, white lines in the middle. What I'm doing next is uh, taking this great gray pencil and covering the white outlines uh, in the shadow. Actually, I'm even going to use some black where the black faucets are. In just a little gray to white faucets. All right, here is our diamond. So, thank you for watching my uh, gems coloring tutorial. I hope you liked it. And uh, I may say that I'm going to finish this picture. Uh, maybe I will make a video of where I will color the snake. Um, yet I'm not sure how to color it, maybe it will be metal, then this will be a, a metal coloring tutorial, but um, I promise you that there will be another coloring tutorials, so see you, bye friends!